Ford has turned a new page. After a catastrophic outcome concerning their push towards EVs, the Blue Oval is going back to its roots. As a result, we're going to see a resurgence of old fan-favorite nameplates as well as the introduction of all new ones. So let's not waste any time and get ready for a new era of American automakers as Ford CEO announces six new Ford models for 2025 and wows everybody. Number 6. Ford Ranchero with the enormous success of the Ford Maverick, Ford decided that the compact pickup truck segment was an ore vein yet to be mined. As a result, they've started cooking and working hard on an alternative compact pickup truck that'll be even more affordable and, frankly, more interesting than the Maverick. Enter the Ford Ranchero. The small pickup truck will answer the prayers of quite a bit of people that were angered by the Maverick's lackluster practicality. You see, the Ford Ranchero will share its platform with the Maverick. However, it'll essentially be a more workhorse-oriented version of it. Gone is the crew cab, and in its place, we'll either be seeing a single cab or, more likely, an extended cab, which means that you could expect a bed that'll be quite large, up to six feet long. Furthermore, since it'll be cheaper to manufacture, you could expect the Ford Ranchero to also be notably cheaper than the Maverick. As of right now, there has been no mention of the pricing officially. However, we could expect it to start around $20,000, which is frankly astonishing. As for the powertrains, the Ranchero is expected to come with both the 2.5 hybrid and the 2.0-liter EcoBoost, just like the Maverick. However, the base model will most likely utilize Ford's 1.5-liter three-cylinder engine, which will allow its price to be even cheaper. Speaking of the Maverick, number 5. Ford Maverick Del Lobo The Ford Maverick has undoubtedly been a true revolution for the pickup truck segment and the automotive industry in general. However, there were also a few things that were missing. One of the most noticeable missed opportunities was offering a more powerful and athletic version of the pickup truck, such as the Raptor series of trucks. Well, for the 2025 model year, we'll be getting just that. Since 2025 is marked to be the year when the Ford Maverick receives its mid-life cycle redesign, Ford has also decided to grace us with a sportier version of the Maverick. Enter the Ford Maverick Del Lobo. This version of the Maverick will be a complete antithesis to the Raptor lineup as, unlike those trucks, the Del Lobo will be a road-oriented pickup truck, essentially a hot hatch version of a pickup truck. Under the hood, we expect the Maverick Del Lobo to come with Ford's trusty 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine, which will push somewhere in between 300 and 310 horsepower. This version of the pickup truck will also receive some aggressive styling upgrades such as deeper and more aerodynamic bumpers and side skirts, as well as larger wheels with low-profile tires. Additionally, the suspension will be stiffened up to allow for a sportier driving experience, and the steering wheel will be stiffened up for a more precise way of commandeering the truck. Finally, the interior itself will receive a few upgrades, such as sporty half-bucket seats, a sporty steering wheel, and other interior trim accents. All in all, a very interesting vehicle. Number 4. Ford Taurus After a six-year hiatus, the incredible Ford Taurus will finally be revived. America's most popular bland sedan is once again making a return. However, this time, it'll be much less bland than before. The new Ford Taurus will utilize a completely different chassis than before, as it'll use a front-wheel drive layout. It'll essentially be a successor to the Ford Fusion, just a tad bigger and considerably better built than the Fusion. In fact, this exact car has been on sale in the Middle East for two years now. However, the US market will be getting a tad different design. The front-end design will be less crowded and more elegant, and the interior will offer a larger choice of materials and possible configurations. That said, you shouldn't expect it to crowd the streets as even though sedans have been getting a bit more attention during the last year, they're still almost completely overshadowed by SUVs. Also, don't expect a terrifying EcoBoost V6 under the hood. This will be a more reserved vehicle, and because everybody seems to be transferring to SUVs, you won't need to worry if it's an undercover officer or a regular citizen in that Taurus in front of you. We're just very glad to see Ford do this. Number 3. Ford Everest Let's be honest, the Ford Bronco is an incredibly capable SUV. However, it's also terribly overpriced as you're, after all, paying for the namesake and the incredibly cool design. However, some people tend to not care about the design and would much rather pay a noticeably lesser sum for a similarly capable, yet bland workhorse SUV. Enter the Ford Everest. The Ford Everest has been on sale for a few years already, however, only in the Asian market. 
Well, from 2025, it'll also be introduced to the US market, and with it, you'll also see a minor facelift for both it and the Ford Ranger. In terms of function, you should expect a near-identical vehicle to the Ford Ranger both aesthetically and mechanically, with the only real difference being the fact that the bed has been replaced by additional interior space. To be more precise, the Ford Everest will offer a seven-seater layout, making it essentially the thinking man's Ford Bronco. Oh, and let's not forget about the price. The Ford Everest, because it won't be a poser's vehicle, will cost considerably less than the Bronco, some 10 to 15 percent less at the least. And if you take into consideration that for the money, you'll be getting an indestructible seven-seater, it's easy to see why one would love this pickup truck slash SUV hybrid. Number 2. Ford Capri Ford is adamant on beating Tesla at their own game. What do we mean? Well, the Blue Oval Company is on the brink of releasing an all-new subcompact crossover SUV that'll be fully electric and will have an incredibly low price tag. We're talking about the constantly teased and long-awaited Ford Capri crossover. This cutesy little SUV will be a true turning point for both Ford and the rest of the industry, as Ford promises a price tag that will severely undercut its rivals. We're talking about a $20,000 price tag, which has until recently been only a mental noun. However, with the Capri, it'll slowly but surely become a reality. In terms of dimensions, the Capri will be smaller than the Ford Escape, coming at a similar size as the Ford Puma, which is currently being sold in Europe. Furthermore, it has also been mentioned that there will also be an internal combustion version which will admittedly be powered by a small displacement engine, however, this is yet to be confirmed. Now, some of you with a sharper eye might have noticed the nameplate Ford Capri. This was the name that was used for the European quote-unquote equivalent to the Ford Mustang, which was smaller and less expensive than the Mustang. This is interesting because the Capri EV will be the same thing as the old Capri, just for the Mustang Mach-E, a stylish little crossover that pays homage to its older brother and its heritage. Number 1. Ford Maverick Lightning Now we know what came across your mind when you saw the Lightning nameplate. Oh great, another overpriced EV is coming. Well, you'd be wrong for thinking that. You see, despite sharing its namesake with the EV version of the F-150, the Maverick Lightning will not be an EV. Instead, you could expect a fully-fledged plug-in hybrid version of the Maverick. This Maverick will, like the regular Maverick, share most of its components with the equivalent version of the Ford Escape, which is the Ford Escape PHEV. As a result, you could expect the return of the 2.5-liter naturally aspirated engine that's found in the regular hybrid. It'll push around 210 horsepower, making it ever so slightly more powerful than the regular hybrid. Additionally, it'll do around 35 mpg on gas alone and around 90 mpg E, making it extremely efficient. Sure, it's noticeably less than the Escape, however, the weight is also noticeably different. Furthermore, it'll also have an estimated all-electric range of around 35 miles, making it ideal for city commutes and city work. Now, granted, this range requires additional batteries, which means that you could expect either the cabin space or the bed space to be a bit more cramped. However, that'll be a small price to pay when taking into consideration how incredible the rest of the truck will be. Finally, the price of the pickup truck will be somewhere in the lines of $40,000, with its equivalent levels of being identical to that of the Lariat, with the exception of the front grille and the wheels and tires. Thanks for watching and see you next time.